King Michel I of Romania on the balcony of the Elisabetta Palace in Bucharest in 2013. It was one of his last public appearances before retiring this year in favour of his eldest daughter to represent the family in future years. The King's 68-year wait to return to the throne was in vain. He had been suffering from cancer for many years. Yet it was his wife Anne of Romania who passed away first. She was a queen who was never crowned and never served, but was honoured with a full state funeral. A day of mourning was declared in Romania and Moldova. But the king was absent from the ceremonies, remaining in Switzerland, as he was too ill to attend. He was born the son of Carol II of Romania, but when he, as next in line to the throne, eloped with his mistress and renounced his rights to the throne in December 1925, Michel was declared heir apparent. He became king at the end of 1925 on the death of his grandfather, King Ferdinand I. Michel was just six years old. His father returned to Romania three years later and became king. In 1940, the pro-Nazi government of Ion Antonescu came to power. Carol II was considered anti-German and was forced to abdicate. At 18 years of age, Michel was back on the throne, but as a puppet monarch. In 1944, he joined a number of pro-Allied politicians and army officers in starting a coup against Antonescu. Although the country's alliance with the Germans ended, the coup sped the advance of the Red Army into Romania. By 1947, the Russians had occupied Romania. Michel returned to the country against the advice of Winston Churchill to announce his engagement to Princess Anne, but the authorities forced him to abdicate at gunpoint. He married Anne a year later and began a long and happy life in exile. The fall of communism changed nothing for the status of the Romanian crown, with the post-communist governments also fearing a restoration of the monarchy. In 1990, Michel tried to visit the country but was expelled by police. Two years later, at Easter, he was allowed to visit for three days when more than a million turned out to see him. He said he had visited to get a clear answer to the question of reconciliation or not. His words fell on deaf ears and he had to wait a further three years for his passport to be restored, along with several of his properties. He was finally allowed to live in Romania with his family of five daughters and split his time between Romania and Switzerland. In 2012, he was voted the country's favourite personality, but there have been no moves to restore the monarchy. His eldest daughter, Margaret, the crown princess, said last month, Romanians looked at the crown with respect, admiration, 